Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about the two game slate in League of Legends. Um, in the LPL, it's an exciting time of the year because the summer split finals is happening between JDG and TES. Uh, but I did want to point out um, first of all, let's it's a, it's a two gamer, one LPL and one in the LCK. LPL is going to be the finals the, for the championship trophy uh, in the playoff spot. Um, or, or a spot in the world. Um, in the LCK, it's more of a, a regional qualifiers that they're they're working on. Uh, as you guys know, that <clears throat> Gen G has won uh, the summer split uh, playoffs. So yeah, I'll, I'll pull that up here shortly. But let's talk about the LPL first. JDG versus TES, number one seed TES and the number two seed overall JDG are going at uh, going against each other. TES, I'm I'm only laughing because TES is making a big move in starting Ching Tian in, in the top lane. This is how I feel about it. So Ching Tian is more of an aggressive uh, top laner, and I think um, TES's coach, <laughs> Crescent, um. He probably thought thinks that Ching Tian, I'm sorry, Ching Tian would fare better against three six nine. Three six nine for JDG has been uh, in form and has been very aggressive in the top lane as well. So I think that's the thought process behind it. And Wayward has been, I mean, up and down, but I think he's been okay. I mean, he's been solid uh, in the top lane while the rest of his teammates have been playing really well. So. I just don't see, aside from the fact that Cheng Tian has to mesh with the rest of his, you know, his team. Um, I, I do think, you know, he's going to be a slight upgrade, unlike most people are thinking. I think it will, I, I do think it will disrupt uh, the team chemistry that Top Esports has been having with Wayward in the top lane. Because Wayward really has been playing very passively um, until the team fights happen. Um, whereas Ching Tian is more likely than Wayward to, you know, kind of go for that solo kill and go for that map pressure and priorities and all that as well. So I do think their uh, game approach may change with Ching Tian in the top lane, but you know we'll see what happens there. And I'll, 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 I'll and I will say that Ching Tian has played with, you know, his team has started before. It's not like this is his like first game off the bench or whatever. Um, I, I do think that helps him and help this helps the team better. So so yeah, let's just go through. I mean, these are both elite teams, and that's why they're in the champ championship game. Um, it's gonna be a best of five series. So let's dive into the individual lane matchup analysis. Like I said, 369 Cheng Tian. Like I said, I kind of went through that, but I have to give an edge to 369 here. Kanavi versus Tian. Um, Tian has been lights out. He's that's why he won the MVP award uh for the summer split. But Kanavi is no joke either. So <clears throat> I think that's more of a wash, in my opinion. Um, I think Kanavi is more more aggressive, but Tian is a better macro gamer, I think, you know, just helping his team and more utility based uh jungler but kanavi can carry a game or two you know if if you really wanted to so and yagao versus knight uh yagao actually has been playing pretty well um but knight has also been playing well too so i think that's a wash now this is where i think um hope and missing really have to come play today um because jackie love and mark have been really really good uh this year so I'm going to have to give an edge to top esports just based on that bot matchup. Um, even though I think 369 will be, you know, uh, dominant over Ching Tian, um, but not to the point where 369, not to the point where it will get out of control, I think. So I do think Ching Tian, as long as he has a good game plan in place. And frankly, if he loses game one, if top esports loses game one, I think they'll pr probably bring back Wayward. So obviously, from the DFS standpoint, you want to avoid Ching Tian in an optimal lineup, but you know I think that's the risk uh, that may pay off. Um, but he does have an unfavorable matchup against three six nine. I don't think he he will score 
as well as he probably would against some other inferior uh, top laners. So, so yeah, I do think top esports wins here today. I think three to one. That's my guess. I think um, JDG's strengths have have been in the top uh, top half of the ma- half of the map, and then in the bottom lane they've been fine. But I think it's more Kanavi and three six nine that have been controlling the game for JDG and their wins. Um, and I think Top Esports will do just fine against that. So I have Top Esports winning in that matchup. Let's look at the um, LCK matchup today. Um, I have a little bit of cold, so I apologize for sniffling into the mic. Um, where is it? Yep. September 1st, so that's tomorrow. Yep. So, Damon Kia versus Liv Sandbox, right? I think this is going to be an interesting match, but I haven't even looked at the odds. Now, if I have to guess like who's going to win, I think Sandbox should win. But let's look at that real quick. So for LPL, it's a toss up. Oh, JD Gaming is actually favored. Interesting. I'm I'm still stick sticking with top esports, but we'll see. And then Damon versus Sandbox. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Sandbox. I'm sorry, Damon Kia fans, but um, they just haven't looked that great. Um, and Sandbox's Prince in the bottom lane has been lights out, and I feel like that's been the weakness point. I mean, that's just a bad matchup for Tamon Kia. Sandbox's Prince and Kale in the bot lane, you know, have been the strongest carries. That's been their winning path. Um, and Sandbox's wins. And Damon Kia's uh, weaknesses have been in the bottom lane, where Duk Dam and Kellen have been really bad. In the top lane, it's not like Nuguri or Birdall. It's going to just get carry that game. I mean, they have never done that <laughs> this whole summer split. So I'm not too scared of them taking advantage of Dove, where Dove is probably their weak, their biggest weakness for Sandbox. But I just don't see Nuguri or Birdall taking care, taking advantage of that. Maybe Birdall. Birdall is more of an aggressive uh, top laner. Um, so I'll, if I were Damon Kia, <clears throat> I would start Birdall if I were their coach. Um, I think just to take advantage of Dove's, uh, you know, poor laning phase. But he's going to play a tanky champion, Dove. Not gonna give up that many kills in laning in the laning phase. I think um, Sandbox is a better team fighting team in my opinion as well. So as long as like Croco and Closer do okay against Canyon and Showmaker, I think Sandbox will do just fine. I think there are a lot more winning paths for Sandbox to win here today in a best of five. Um, and I just feel like Canyon and Showmaker. Canyon has actually has been has not been as good as he was last year. And I just don't see him exploit that bottom lane for Sandbox uh, in the best of five series. So I'm going to have to go Sandbox uh, probably three to two. I think Damon Kia is experienced enough to kind of take it to, you know, to the brink of it, of the best of five. Um, But I think at the end of the day, I think Sandbox will end up winning this series. I'm pretty confident (laughs) where... I mean, in an analysis where I reviewed, analyzed the biggest weaknesses versus strengths, I mean, it just kind of lines up that sandboxes, you know, they have a lot more advantages over Dalmakia, you know, in their weaknesses. So I like sandbox a lot here today. Um, and then, like I said, I like top esports, but I think this is more of a toss up than the other LCK matchup that I just talked about. So, yeah. Anyway, so I hope you guys, uh, you know, like the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I think that there's a substitution risk in the top lane here um, and the substitution risk uh, for top esports and the substitution risk in the top lane for Damwon Kia between Nuguri and Birdall. So just letting you guys know um, for DFS purposes. But yeah, if you like the video, please, please hit the like button below. Um, it would mean a lot uh, to me and to to uh, True DFS as well, uh, who's, you know, they sponsored uh, this video that I'm making. So, you know, thanks to True DFS. Come check out their uh, YouTube channel, but also their Twitter. Um, and also in their Discord where I share um, some, you know, more more insights and nuggets. So hope you guys have a good day and yeah, have a good one. See you at the top of the leaderboard. Bye-bye.